Hi, this is Dave WO2X. In this video, I'm going to show how to change uh, the default uh, DEV slash TTY USB zero uh, on a serial in or serial out node to use uh, the FTDI uh, device by ID, which includes the serial number for the FTDI interface. This will make sure that when you plug in the USB cable or USB device, that it will enumerate properly and always be connected to the proper flow. Uh, for example, my RT21 rotor controller, I have that connected uh, by a, a serial to USB cable with an FTDI chipset. And I wanna make sure that when it plugs in, no matter what order the cable is plugged in, it will always enumerate to the rotor flow. Uh, right now, uh, if I plug it in as a default, it's going to go ahead and be DEV slash TTY USB zero as the first device. But if I plug something else in first and then plug that in second, uh, it would change to USB one and it can cause issues in node red that your rotor may not be connected to the rotor flow, it may be connected to a different flow. So this is going to be a, a little video to show how to change it so that you can have uh, by ID and make sure that the enumeration always stays uh, connected to where you want it. So I'm going to share my desktop. And what I have here is my rotor flow. I have the cable plugged in right now, but it is not configured. So as a default, if I open up either the serial in node or the serial out node, I'm going to open up the serial out and it says add new serial port because I have not configured it yet. So in order to do this, we click on the pencil to add the port. And what I can do is I can click the little search uh, spyglass and you'll see it says DEV slash TTY USB zero. So if I select that, and then configure it to match my rotors, uh, the rotor controller uh, baud rate 4800. Uh, the protocol in my rotor uses a semicolon to split the input messages. So where it says split input, I'm going to go ahead and change this line feed to a semicolon. And then the other thing is uh, for the default response timeout, we want to change that from 10,000 to 500 milliseconds for my rotor controller. So I'm going to hit add, and you'll see it's, uh, again, DEV slash TTY USB zero. Shows you your, your baud rate and 8N and 1. I'm going to hit done. And on the input, I need to double click that and use the pull down and select that one I just added, that port I added. So I'm going to hit done and deploy. And I have a debug node on the input coming from the rotor controller. And you'll see that I'll start getting azimuth messages coming in from the rotor controller. So again, if you only have a single uh, T, uh, FTDI USB cable or USB device plugged in, this is fine. But if you have more than one device, depending on the order you plug them in can cause some issues where the changes from USB zero to USB one if it's not plugged in in the correct order. So in order to fix this, we need to change that to use the cable ID. So to do that, I'm going to open up uh, VNC Viewer, and I'm going to VNC into my Raspberry Pi desktop. And so once we're in the desktop, we're going to go into File Manager, and we want to browse to uh, DEV, and then we want to expand that and go down to Serial. So there's two folders in here, by ID and by path. So I'm going to open up the by ID, and you'll see here's my cable coming from the rotor controller. So if you have multiple devices, uh, I recommend doing these one at a time. So you make sure you get the correct device and the correct uh, path and serial number. So if I hover over it, you'll see here's the path, and you'll see the serial number of the uh, of the chip inside the USB cable. So in order to copy this, we just right click and go to copy path. Now we copied the path and we can close out VNC viewer. 
And I'm going to open up the serial out node by double clicking it. I'm going to click the pencil to edit. And this default, which is the DEV slash TTY USB zero, I'm going to go ahead and paste over that what I just copied, which is the path uh, by ID. And I'm going to hit update and then done. And I'm going to go to my input serial node, and I'm just going to verify that it also copied over there, which it did. So I now have the cable set up uh, by the path, including the ID of the chipset. So I'm going to hit deploy, confirm. And you'll see now that it starts spitting out the azimuth again. So now every time I plug this in, no matter what order it gets plugged in, it will always use that specific USB to serial cable for my rotor flow. I uh, go to the node red dashboard. Here's my rotor. I can click it and uh, there it goes. So that's just a quick and dirty tutorial on how to change the default serial node to use the path of the USB cable. Uh, so it's always enumerated correctly. So again, 7-3, this is Dave, WO2X. Have a great day.